but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. These final two parts of the Lord's Prayer, the seventh petition and conclusion, are yet another reminder of who God is and what he has done according to his promises. That our Father who art in heaven has done these very things. He has delivered us from sin and death. He has rescued us from evil. He has redeemed us from hell and the powers of Satan. He cares for us, loves us, provides for us in all things of body and soul, of life and death. That what is to come for us is not evil. That God's plan and his purpose and his workings for us are not evil, but blessedness. That is what awaits us because of who he is. Because of who he has made you. His kingdom and his power and his glory forever and ever and always are for you. That is what he has done by his work on the cross, by his promises to you in the sacraments. To that we say amen. That is the answer of faith. That answer of trust in God to do this for you by his grace and his mercy, not because of who you are, not because of what you have done or what you have earned, but because you are his son or daughter. Because of his work through Jesus. We know that without doubt, with but firmly believing that prayer does not depend upon me, but upon him. Upon what he has done. Upon the promises that he has made you. Upon the work that he continues to do each day in your life. Prayer is to trust him. And sometimes that's hard. Sometimes it's hard to trust those promises of God. And so we pray all the more, not because we think that our prayer is somehow going to change the end result, but it is going to change us. It's going to focus our minds on the words and promises of God. It is going to show us that he does have the best in mind for us always. And the cross is the very proof of that. So if nothing else, if not another word of the Lord's Prayer, you pray, pray the Amen. Yes, yes, it shall be so, just as God has said. You have been delivered and redeemed in the name of Jesus. Amen.